Kendall, what's up with all these spoons? So, okay, here's the deal. There are a lot of ways to get food into the pie hole, right? <clears throat> and we were talking the other day about all the different spoons. I get a lot of, I, these guys make fun of me all the time. You know, the rest of the guys in the office are always making fun of me about how particular I am about spoons. So I brought in the collection. I'm eating some uh, pad thai today. Kind of been craving that for a few days. I don't have time to go get some myself. So good to go is hooking me up. And I've got this kind of this progression of spoons. So let's go down the row. I'll give you a little education. Snow Peak, the original. Spork. People, like mine's like blown. I don't know why the whole spoon, spork, or fork combination in spork was a brilliant idea. But I don't think it's that brilliant, quite frankly. And for this bag, the depth, I mean, barely fits it. But if I look at like one of these new peak refuels, like this, the only strategy is to cut it off and then eat. And then you don't have the garbage bag for all your other stuff. So while the spork was interesting, no, I'm out on the spork. And then this guy, like kind of the spork and like, you know, tried to be the snow peak, but couldn't quite do a total knockoff. Yeah, same thing. Then this guy from Tokes, this is not working with my pad thai, especially if I put a little bit too much water. For any backcountry adventure, that the fork is definitely inefficient. Then you got this like Uko. They got the little cutty, like, you know, see the little like teeth on the side, the little, this is kind of the fork and the, and the, the knife-ish and the spoon all in one. The spoon, on a scale of one to five, five being the most rad spoon and one being like a lame spoon, this spoon is probably a one and a half. It's small, so like my four-year-old can use this. And secondly, I don't really wanna have like my hand on my, my dirty grimy hand on my fork side and then also when I wanna reach around and do the other side, no, that, it's plastic too. Then this guy from Light My Fire, titanium. Anything with titanium back in like 2005 and six sells like mad. Now this titanium is just, again, stupidity. They've got the, uh, the little, like, little teeth again. Now they're instead of plastic, they're metal. But same thing. But however, this spoon, if this spoon had a super long, I'd probably give that spoon maybe a three. It's kind of deep, a little wider, definitely not kitty size, but again, the, spork, the fork and the spoon in one, not cutting it. And then now there's Gerber. Gerber came out with this pretty interesting tool and it, it, it matches up with forks. They have a fork, knife, and spoon combo. But who are we kidding? In the back country, you don't need a knife, you don't need a fork, you just need a spoon. So while this is a decent spoon, the actual surface area and depth of the spoon to get the most amount of food in my pie hole as quickly as possible when I'm back country hunting or side country hunting or front country hunting, this is not gonna cut it. Probably a, maybe a 2.25 on the scale of one to five on quality of spoon. <clears throat> now, this was long time my favorite instrument, the Snow Peak, oh, excuse me, the Sea to Summit. How could I, sorry, Sea to Summit. This, these guys were revolutionary. Can you believe it? They added extra length. And if you match it up to like the peak refuel, I mean, for the good to go, it's definitely good to go. Peak refuel, which the cutoff is right there, still good to go. You're not gonna get food all over your hands. You can actually get to the bottom and you can stir it up. The problem with the spork, again, we're talking efficiency, okay? This whole thing loses me, especially on some of the soup type stuff. So, yeah, I almost wanted to love this. I did love it for a short period, but then they came out with the spoon. And I just said, see you later, Spork. <clears throat> and I went right to the spoon. This little guy has been with me on basically every outing since, well, since they invented this, um, the spoon that is, and the long handle. I don't know why anyone else will do. However, the angle of the spoon and the size, this is basically like a kitty spoon, but I tolerated it since it had the super long length. I really like this. I love this. In fact, I loved it until pretty much last year, and then it kind of took a back seat. <clears throat>
peak refuel, seriously, we needed another long spork to bend to basically to knock off of Cedar Summit? I don't think so. <clears throat> what am I gonna eat lunch with today? I'm gonna eat lunch with this bad boy right here. It's a spoon. You've had one in your possession since you've been like two or one and a half. In fact, your parents wouldn't even trust you with a fork, nor with a spork. They gave you the spoon because number one, it is safe. But number two, it's the most efficient tool to get food in the pie hole. And when you're in the back and you're hunting, long day, the last thing you want to do is, do is dabble with your food. So I'm going to use this Sea to Summit spoon right here. It is the best backcountry utensil for, for getting food inside me and relieving the hunger. It's fairly strong. Is it titanium? No. And so some people go, well, it's plastic. It's going to break, Kendall. I flat out love this thing. It's long enough to get down into any package you want. Last week on a bear hunt, I actually took this and the Sea to Summit. I don't know why I took both. Maybe I, may, they're both Sea to Summit. I took the titanium and the plastic. Guess what didn't get used? The titanium. So Sea to Summit, you guys nailed it. I love this spoon. And this is what I'm gonna eat with today, tomorrow, and I think forever. That's it. You've got the whole history of sporks and spoons and sporks. Don't screw around, guys. Just get a dang spoon and put the food in your mouth. This is Kendall with Black Ovis. That's the final word.